brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, I don't know what this world is coming to. Yes, the rhythm, the rebel. It's the 300, the 30 deuce. It's the 301. The 301? We should do a 303 themed one. Well, I had, uh, I had wanted to do something special for 300. I just I ran out of time to get anything organized. It's all good. But a 303 one, okay, that would be... I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything going on mid-December that we would have to avoid. So maybe uh, maybe we could make a, a local push for people to come do a live show with us or something like that. Yeah, you could work out. Something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if not, we'll can always wait till seven twenty. <laughs> oh, well. well, and and then um, we're going to have the beginning of the sixth year coming up before too long. I mean, in theory, that's somewhere around three twelve or yeah. <clears throat> Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, instead of worrying about those shows, why don't we start this one? Oh, this one? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Hello, and welcome everybody to the LobbyCast. Hello. This is Will. Hi, I'm Will. I'm Jeff. That's Jeff. And uh, this is episode 301, if uh, if you didn't get that from our... our uh, <laughs> <laughs> our, our mumbling and witty and such. Yeah, our, yeah. Our playful banter. Our playful banter. Uh, this week's episode absolutely not brought to you by Canada Dry or Coca Cola Classic or Coca Cola Classic or Smart Water. These things can all be seen on the uh, the studio table here. Uh, what else is it not brought to you by? Uh, what's behind us? Um, it's not bl- brought to you by The Walking Dead, although. After this episode, you may uh, think that it is. <laughs> and uh, Blade Runner. And or Red uh, State. Darth Vader. And Red State. And Red State. It's not brought to you by any of those things. Uh, it's also not brought to you by uh, Wes Craven or Hellraiser. and uh, Because we have a penhead doll c- holding our camera. He's been but a faithful cameraman. For he has years. been great. He never complains. He used to watch over the store. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm friends. not sure if he watched over the store that well, but <laughs> no, <laughs> about as well as Wesley Snipes did. Right, <laughs> which was also not well. Also not well. <laughs> Seeing as how you guys got robbed like three times. <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> I mean, there was a guy that tried to break in while I was there, and I'm like, "Hey, keep it down. I'm on the phone." <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to go. Uh, somebody's trying to break into my store. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, um, so I'm, I'm gonna have to hang up with you and and then dial nine one one. Some okay. douchebags trying to throw a rock through the front door. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, I don't know. I think I think I, I, I still give Pinhead a little bit more credit than Wesley Snipes. Yes. Wesley Snipes. Also has a, a connection to this week's show. How about that? Hmm. <laughs> Weird. Weird. All right. You ready to do some news, Will? Let's do it. Do you have any news? Do I have any news? Um, well, since it is topical for today, and I'm probably going to steal some of your thunder, but Ooh. the new Star Wars teaser has been released. And do you like the actual version better than the, the Rickroll version? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes, I did. I was very happy with the Rickrolled version that that made its way across the internet, and uh, but having seen the official trailer, I'm a fan. I, I think J.J. Abrams is going to to give it a fair treatment, which is all I think anybody really hoped. <coughs> and uh, it it looks like a new hope. Yeah. And and much less like the uh, prequel trilogy. The the prequel trilogy that nobody likes to talk about. Yeah, um, you know, even if you're just like a, a mild fan of Star Wars, um, and I'm somewhere in between mild and hardcore, I would say. Yeah. Um, 
check it out on on uh, iTunes trailers or on YouTube. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch. Um, some really interesting things. It looks like they're back on Tatooine, and uh, there are some you know new vehicles, but really. You know, getting to see the uh, the Millennium Falcon and Tie Fighters racing across the Tatooine desert. It's pretty sweet. Uh, it's pretty cool, and the uh, the lightsaber was different. Yes, it looked a little bit more like it had crackly fire coming off of it, mm-hmm. and it was also in um, uh, like a long sword or uh, what's it? yeah less. Uh, well, you're, you're talking about it, the, the fact that it appeared to have lightsaber energy based, not pauldrons, but um, basically like a, a defense for the grip. Right. The word is completely escaping me. Actually. Right. No, no, no. I, I got you. It's just, it's basically, it's the, the short sides of the cross. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, which is great. Which is Because cool. that, that always seemed odd to me that with... Uh, straight-sided weapon that the light sabers didn't slide down and cut off your hand. Right. <laughs> because there was nothing to prevent it from doing so. Seems like a smart addition on, on uh, or a smart choice on on their part to go with uh, that style. Which, so. which, and I think that the whole purpose behind the, the lightsabers not being an uber geek, and I'm sure there are frothing fanboys out there that are listening to us, hopefully... Uh, frothing fanboys that are listening to us going, no, no, it's it's because of this and it's because of this and, and this is why and this is the science behind it. But I always considered the, the lightsaber to be more of a, a fencing weapon, so more along, along the lines of a saber, so less designed for defense, more for slashing offense and poking. Right. Uh, or if you go back to uh, the uh, 4, 5, and 6, uh, Heavy bludgeoning weapons. Right. <laughs> there's, <'Cause> I, <laughs> there's a lot of heavy bludgeoning between I, the two of them. <laughs> at, at that point, whenever they were they were practical uh, practical swords with um, CG over it, mm-hmm. uh, they were wielding pipes. Yes. And the, that's why the lightsabers in the original movies look a lot heavier than they do in the prequel trilogies, because in the prequel trilogies there wasn't anything practical to them other than the hilt mm. so but you can whip a hilt around a lot faster than you can a right pipe. the physics are different right and in, in how how things are are wielded um so i i uh, i know that it's all cg in this one too but the style i think is uh, is going to be pretty nice It'll be interesting to see if it's simply a trademark for that particular villain, or if we're going to see that style more as an evolution of the lightsaber, which would be more <laughs> applicable to the continuation of the saga and the timeline itself. Yeah, yeah, and and because it's going to be it's going to be one of those kind of things where it's like I just want to hear one of the Jedi Jedi Knights going. You know what? Ours should be like that. That's <laughs> that, smart. We should do that. That is smart. <laughs> um, because, you know, uh, the trademark of... Probably the trademark new lightsaber that we saw in the prequel trilogy... What was the Windows? The, no. No, no. Purple. It's all about the purple. No, no, no. I understand <laughs> the color. Purple. However, it was the it was double the blade, double from, blade Darth from Darth Maul. Which was something new. Yes. Which and, uh, well, and I think one of the curious. Jedi had it in uh, in the in Clone Wars, in the big arena battle where they go to yep. save Padme and, and Anakin and and uh, Obi Wan. I think one of the the Jedi there had it too, but I I can't be sure because I, there's a lot of that movie that I tried to block out. Right. Yeah. As you should. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's it's. Cool that uh, that trailer is out now. So definitely out, go check it, it out. It looks good. It's nice and sharp. It's it's it it is a good tease. Which yeah, is exactly what it's supposed to be. Yeah, and whose voice is that? That I couldn't. It was a very recognizable voice. Yes, and I don't. I almost had it when we when we just watched this uh, the trailer um, right before hitting record. Uh, it was 
It was a very, I almost had it. I was like, that's where I know that voice from. But uh, it'll, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. And I'm sure, you know, it's probably already on the internet somewhere. Oh, but, yeah. but I want to, I want to figure it out for myself. You know, my brother's really, uh, Jordan's really good at, at uh, recognizing voices and things. Jordan has a gift for recognizing voices like my wife has a gift for identifying the third actor backstage for one half second crossing the street uh, and recognizing <laughs> every other movie, commercial, and film work that that actor has done. So, wow. They're both kind of savantish. They're, they're very IMDb. Yes. The living yeah. embodiments of. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, well, uh, past that, um, <clears throat> I asked you before we started recording if you have HBO. Do you use the HBO Go app? I have used the HBO Gap. No, let's try that again. <laughs> it's been a long day, folks. <clears throat> yeah, English yeah. is uh, turning rapidly into my second language. Um, I have used the HBO app, or the HBO Go app, which I think is right. what my brain was trying to produce. Right. Uh, I've used it on my Kindle, uh, my old school Kindle Fire. Okay. Uh, works really well. Um, I enjoy it. I enjoy having HBO's kind of rotating library at my disposal. Um, have not used it on the Xbox. I'm trying right. to think if it has an Xbox app. Uh, it's been on the 360 for a while, okay. and it just came out on the uh, yes. the I've, Xbox One this last week in between the, the two episodes. Good. I've used it on the 360. Yeah. But that's been a long time ago. Yeah. I I don't have HBO. Uh, I have used Brick's HBO Go before on my 360. Um, I haven't seen what it looks like on the Xbox One, but I, I imagine that it's it works pretty well. It's got to be pretty slick. It's it's a pretty good interface. Yeah. It was a bit clunky when they first came out with it. I remember getting rather upset that I had to keep signing into my DirecTV account to get the HBO app to work, but they finally ironed out some of the kinks, and I could log in more than once a day without having to log back into DirecTV. So That's good. It worked out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you really don't have any use for using the HBO Go app. I mean, because you can just do HBO. Although it is a it's a really easy way to access all of that. Yes. That content because um, you can you know search through all of their, the, their stuff. The the bummer for me is that uh, HBO, Netflix, uh, I think one other video streaming service uh, don't work outside of the United States. Um, Amazon Prime and uh, Redbox, the Redbox one, mm -hmm. also don't don't work outside of the states. I Correct. think Hulu Plus, maybe. So, yeah. For for me, uh, I was very excited to take my Kindle Fire over to the wilds of wherever it was that I was, and uh, it did not work. <laughs> Even when I had internet, which was on a rare basis, it it did not work. Right. And I was sad. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's been something people have been wanting on the Xbox One for a while, and it is now up and running. And uh, I noticed that uh, HBO Go has some direct competition with all the other paid movie apps. So there's Stars Play, I think it's called. There's, yeah. Um, I just saw one for Showtime. I think Showtime Now. Showtime Now, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. So uh, any, Does AMC um, have one? FX does. FX does, but FX it's, now I think is what it's called. But we tried to um, we tried to install the, we installed the FX now app or whatever it is the FX watch whatever it's called app on yeah. the one, but they weren't supporting Directv channels. That's so time. weird. It, it was very odd because Directv is last I checked a fairly major provider of television entertainment across the United States. Yeah. So to exclude them from your market was a poor decision, I thought. Agreed. Because we downloaded it specifically because we're having uh, DVR issues with American Horror Story Freak Show. Specifically, the last <laughs> five or ten minutes of two or three episodes got cut off. I said, well, this will be easy enough. Download FX now, pop it in there, sign in, do all that right. kind of stuff. We'll watch the last ten minutes. 
And nope. <laughs> not only no, but F no. <laughs> so we were uh, we were bereft of the last 10 minutes now of two episodes. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, and that's kind of a... Let's see. Uh, FX is American Horror Story, mm-hmm. Sons of Anarchy, Yep, and Justified. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because I would watch the ever-loving crap out of Justified from start to finish again, because I don't believe it's on Netflix. I, I don't recall. Have the first couple seasons on Netflix, but I would watch the, the crap out of it to get caught up in order to start watching the last series, since it's coming to an end. Right. I haven't seen the last season. Um, I, I had started it, it's just I didn't, I didn't get there. Mm. And then new... The new season's coming up soon, right? New season, and it is the final season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm way behind on a lot of things, Will. A Me lot too. of things. Me too. Uh, Boardwalk Empire. Mad Men. Never started, never started. Um, what about else am I way behind on? Uh, I don't I, I can tell you everything that. I've never started watching. <laughs> It's got to be a lot of long list there, Will. <laughs> um, I'm going to talk uh, briefly here about Xbox Music. Uh, if you are a subscriber, they're giving away 50 free albums right now. Um, and it's... What? Yeah, it's it's kind of cool because I uh, went in... Good albums or yeah. pre-selected albums? They're pre-selected, okay. but they're not crappy. Okay, it's a um, good start. have got things like... Uh, Jesse J, Sublime, Lana Del Rey, oh, nice, nice. Imagine Dragons, Eminem, the new one, okay. uh, Bob Marley of Monsters and Men, Rolling Stones, Rihanna, Weezer, Florida, Florida Georgia Line. Um, I think uh, there was a Darius Rucker one on there. I mean, so it's it's got a good variety. A stuff. good variety. Lady Gaga. Okay. Um, there, there's a there are good albums on there sure. for sure. And uh, oh, um, and it is sublime, sublime. It's it's not yeah, they're not yeah. crappy albums from those artists. They're they're popular ones. Okay, so good. Uh, it's really nice. And in addition to that, right now uh, or every week they do a ninety nine cent album, and you know if you like it, download it dollar, and then they have a selection of dollar ninety nine things. Well, their selection of dollar ninety nine things right now is, are uh, box sets. No so, kidding. box sets for a dollar ninety nine. I think I picked up three or four. Wow. Um, one of those being it's uh, it's not Bleach by Nirvana, but it's a similar collection of of like demos and okay. and like offhand recordings and, and stuff. It's not something I needed. And studio rejects. And it's not what I needed. It's something I needed. But I kinda wanted it. Sure. So um so I, I picked that up and a couple other things. I don't uh I don't remember uh right off. It was like there was a um maybe like a Def Jam collection or something like that yeah. that I picked up. But decent box sets also. You know, uh, some stuff from, okay, I may have even been John Lennon. I know John Lennon was either one of the free albums or, like, Imagine was one of the free albums, and I think he also had a box set that was that was on there. Anyway, totally cool f- for two bucks or free, you know, depend on uh, which which thing you choose. And they, uh, they change it up. I, um, it goes off, there's a Music Deals app for Windows 8, or for Windows Phone, okay, and it will let you know what uh, what the deals are for that week. Okay, so which it's I, kind of I think it's great, and it gives you a time uh, a timeline when when it's going to change. And nice. I think uh, as of today, there are only three more days for this current uh, set of promotions. I haven't been keeping up with it. I had no idea, but figure as good a time as any to let people know. Sure. So, um. And also, uh, good news from uh, GameStop. They said at uh, this point in their life, uh, in their lifespans, the Xbox One and PS4 are seventy three percent ahead of the PS3 and Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty at the same time. I understand that 
because the 360 was very, very scarce for about six months out of its first year. But, um, so they're doing well, you know, it's like PlayStation four is obviously selling better than the, the Xbox one, but, um, they're still both selling Mm -hmm. faster than their predecessors. Which, Which is, is good. good. And also, I heard that the PlayStation, I think, gained some leverage, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, from 343 Industries' release of Halo. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that was, a, like, right on the on the heels of, of Assassin's Creed Unity. Or they came out the same day, didn't they? Yeah, same day. So it was two, two botched releases on the same day. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. And 343 uh, basically released a completely broken game. Um, Assassin's Creed Unity was just uh, mildly broken. Yeah. Some character models out out of place and stuff like that. I heard about the missing faces. Missing faces, yeah. But you could see the uh, underlying musculature. Is, which is which is cool if you're into that. Like, that's awesome. It's like, why is that even there? <laughs> this should be an option for everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was like, you could see independent, you know, like, Muscles in the face and in the eyeballs and everything. Sans skin. Sans skin with the tongue flopping. I was like, well, and you know, with me, you know, I just assume that everything's rendered skin. Topically, yeah. Right, but it's it's actually, you know, moving, uh, moving musculature under skin. So it's probably why things are looking better and better. Yes, because they uh, they're a little bit more accurate in how they're. How they're built. Except for so. when you lose all the skin. <laughs> Except for when you lose the skin. <laughs> exactly right. So uh, I think that's it for the news. Let's uh, go ahead and move into the weekly watches. Yep. Will, what you listening to this week? Uh, this week, actually, you mentioned several of them on your little bit about the Xbox music service. Oh, nice. I have been listening to Lana Del Rey's uh, Paradise uh, album. Um, actually thinking about picking up her newest release. I've heard it's a bit different from her other stuff. It is. Which is good. Yep. Uh, Imagine Dragons is usually in the rotation. <laughs> okay. Uh, some Miss Mister. Miss uh, Mister. I don't, I'm not familiar. The little duet, uh, duo, I guess I should say, out of New York. Kind of uh, electronica influenced hip hop a uh, little bit. A little bit of everything. They're kind of eclectic. Um, their band name is, is basically labeled as MSMR, so Miss Mister. Um, their lead single off the album was called Hurricane, and it's it's a good smoky female vocals. She's almost narcotic. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's a good album. I recommend it strongly to anybody out there listening in TV land. Uh, really, really, really good album. Okay, it's a good listen from start to finish. All right, I'll give it a shot. Solid. Because the the only uh, single hurricane that I know is by um, Florence and the Machine. Yes. Yeah. This one is different. <laughs> it would need to be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the those are the top three kind of uh, top three or four coursing through my carousel right now. Cool. And yourself. Well, I've been uh, listening to a lot of those things that I, I had gotten for free, for mm-hmm. sure, uh, that I listed listed in the Xbox Music thing in the news. Um, but I also listened to an episode of the Smodcast, and that's uh, one of Kevin Smith's podcasts. Right. And it was a two-parter um, with uh, Joe Rogan, okay. who occasionally says crazy stuff. He's a, a very interesting guy, though. Mm-hmm. And... I really enjoyed listening to him and Kevin Smith go back and forth and, and talk about different things. Um, most of what they talked about were drugs and uh, and the effects of such things. And uh, kind of interesting. Good. I saw it recently, and I can't cite my source, but I believe I saw a recent photo of Kevin Smith sans beard. Yes. Yes. Um for yoga hosers, uh, uh, Jason Muse was supposed to uh, put on this. Um, mm, I forget what they're called. Is put on the this like heavy makeup and in like a 
I don't know. It was, it was like more practical effects, but okay. basically monster makeup. Okay. And he couldn't do it because it gave him um, severe anxiety. Okay. And so Kevin Smith said, uh, "You know, screw it. I'll uh, I'll do it." And he in order to do he so, shaved he his beard, the trademark beard, in order yeah. to not spend hours weeping. As yeah, he couldn't he couldn't put on the prosthetics without uh, shaving off his beard. So. Yeah. So that's what he did. He shaved it off for, uh, I don't know, I think maybe just one day before he started growing it back. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was. He actually talked about that on the podcast I was listening to, uh, saying that he felt so different, and it's been so long since he's worn his same thing that he felt like he could go in and rob a bank and not be recognized. <laughs> he probably wouldn't, because I didn't recognize him when I first saw the picture. Yeah. Uh, it's... Talk about baby face. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, just think what's going to happen to Jordan if he has to shave off his massive beard. Uh, that would be funny. Yeah. More pictures. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, that was it for uh, for listening. What you, listen, uh, what you watching this week, Mr. Will? Haven't watched a whole lot other than uh, two movies. I managed to get two movies in this week. One of which was really, really good and highly entertaining, and one of which was absolutely abysmal, and I'm sorry I wasted the hour and a half on it. Uh, the good movie was The Lego Movie. Oh, okay. It's, I, I had heard it was good. It's a kid's, kid's film, but, you know, they, they put enough humor in there and enough little sight gags and little things to, to keep an adult mind entertained. Not that I'm claiming to have an adult mind, but... Bear with me here for the sake of argument. But you can recognize things tailored for an adult mind. I can. I, okay. I have that, that capability. Right. Um, it, it was very entertaining. I, 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 was, I was pleased to have seen it. So I'm glad cool. I didn't pay to see it. <laughs> right. A whole different story, but I, I, am, I did enjoy it. Good. The movie that I'm absolutely saddened that I wasted my DVR hard drive space on was bait. <clears throat> bait? Bait. What the hell is that? Allow me to explain to, if nothing else, set a warning for okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Don't start at the big eight. Start before. What led you up to so, the point where you found yes. yourself watching a, a movie titled Bait? The reason why... Well, it's not that I, I watched the movie is one half of the problem. I actively sat down and pushed the record button to record this movie for future viewing. Okay. The reason why is I have a weakness for terrible movies that are also entertaining. So your Sharknado is your Sharknado 2, your various bad dinosaur movies, basically okay. anything on sci-fi. Yep. Okay. So it, All right. there's, it's not something I have to do on a regular basis, but every now and then it's bad movie, it's bad theater night, kick back, kick the shoes off, have a bag of popcorn, watch something bad but funny. Or something that you can at least make fun of while you're Okay, watching. okay. So that's the general premise. So I saw the description for bait, which was something simple like, Survivors of a tsunami trapped in a supermarket must fend off a great white shark. <laughs> and I said, not well, only obviously. are they obviously trying to capitalize on the Sharknado success, right. but how bad can that be? Allow me to tell you how bad that could be. First of all, I, one of the I stars... I feel like I've... You may have seen this description. I may have seen like clips of this movie. Probably. Where basically it all takes place where they're sitting on top of grocery store shelves, that is, or in the car park of the of the grocery store. Uh, that is ninety five percent of the film. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I haven't seen that one. Okay. Were there popular uh, like recognizable actors in it? One, one. Uh, I have not seen it because the the one I saw with sharks in it had like several recognizable people in it. Okay, yeah, this one. I at least only recognized one. Um, that actor, whose name I cannot recall, was Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four. Oh, right. He was on Nip Tuck. Yeah, I know. I know who you're you, talking. about. You know about. who I'm talking about. I I wouldn't know his name 
for any reason. Yes. So, um, Australian film. He's an Australian actor. I'm pretty sure that's how they got him. Okay. They said, "Hey, show some some national pride and some solidarity with your fellow Aussies, and help us make this movie." Yeah. And I think that's about all he had to work with. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is not the one I've seen. No, no I hope not. <laughs> I hope that I'm I'm one of a select handful of people that have seen this film. <laughs> I couldn't find anything other than some rampantly terrible CGI to even ma- to even mock. There was just nothing to this movie. It was just bad. It was just bad. It, okay. It, it was it was laughably. Well, no, that's the problem. It was not even <laughs> laughably bad. Are the words I'm trying to get out? So okay, it had absolutely no redeeming value. Oh, that's terrible. How much of it did you watch? Um, well, oh, okay. Active watching, I would say 45 minutes. I did play You're it from trooper. start to finish and I gave up at some point, grabbed my laptop and started surfing the web. So yeah. apparently I couldn't be bothered to even just change the channel. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It was that bad, huh? It was that bad. All right. Fair enough. Well, I, uh, I watched a movie this uh this week maybe it was yesterday maybe it was yesterday i think it was yesterday um uh, which is uh would have been thanksgiving Correct. for for uh, reference and it's something that i started and i told madison and i was like okay this movie is not going to be good it's just there to be entertaining mm-hmm. um I'm, wow, I'm sensing some... a similar premise to Wait. my experiences. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is there some bad dialogue and bad acting in this movie. But uh, I watched uh, Expendables 3. Nice. nice. I don't think I ever saw the second one. The second one is just as bad as the first one. Okay. Which is probably just as bad as the third one. Probably. Yeah. Um, it's but, you know, it was, it was cool. And... There's... You know, lots of lots of fighting and lots of explosions and gun gunplay and. Do they still have a lot of CGI blood? Um, I there wasn't a, a whole of lot of blood, blood at all. Okay, I remember a lot of CGI blood in the second one. Okay, yeah, there there wasn't as much of that. You know, is it, it was shooting with, you know, basically just like blood where the, mm-hmm. the impact yeah the, on the clothing. So oh, they yeah, didn't have okay. to go CG uh, with it. It okay. just. You know, it was just red dye on the on the clothing, right? Um, which I, I like better. I didn't realize that that uh, the second one had gone the the CG route, which is always a bad idea. That was my my impression. It's been a while since I've seen. Yeah, it. CG blood um, never looks good. No, until they improve how they do it, it never looks good. No, yeah, it always For, stands out like a sore thumb. Right. Reference uh, Blade Two, yes, for how bad, uh, how how bad that can be, and how little progress they've made in that technology. Because that is not a new movie. Because <laughs> I, I, I can almost feel safe to say that since both movies, uh, Expendables Three has Wesley Snipes, I believe. Yeah, it does. It does. And Blade Two obviously had Wesley Snipes, right? So I would say that it's safe to say that in between. The release of Blade Two. And Actually, the release... if you count the blood monster at the end of Blade One, it was just as bad too. It, so. it, it was, it yeah. was. But in between the the release of Blade One or Two and the release of the Expendables Three, not only has Wesley Snipes served his jail term, <laughs> but they have not corrected CGI blood. And and there was a, a bit about that. They break him out of prison, and somebody asked him what he was in for, and he says tax evasion. Nice. Yeah, there there were a lot of little things like that that referenced real real world okay, events. Okay, good. good. So, At least you still have their tongue in there. Too. And uh, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger does at one point say, "Let's get to the chopper." Nice. All right, Let's I'll get to, to the it. chopper. I'll have to watch it now. Yeah, and Ronda Rousey's on it. Okay, and she's pretty cool. She's kind of um, badass. bad acting, really yeah. bad acting, but she's not an actor. Yeah, and she's she's, she's she hired just, to beat the ever loving snot out of other equally fit and attractive women. Uh, mostly men in in the, the mm-hmm. actually all exclusively men in this movie. Right. In her real life, yes, yes, yes. She be, she beats up women. 
Uh, and she looks a lot like Julia Stiles. Yeah, she does. Yeah, when she's when she's not um, like game face for like yeah. MMA. Yeah, yeah. She looks a lot like Julia Stiles. Okay. And you'll see some of that in the in the movie whenever you check it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. She looks like a tougher Julia Stiles. All right. Very yeah, yeah. similar features. Um, let's see here. So I watched that, and I watched probably one of the funnier South Park episodes that I've seen in a long time. It's not the most recent one. It was one that I'd missed, and I went back and watched. It was the one about um, the the boys getting caught in this weird uh, virtual reality loop because oh, one of okay. them got an Oculus Rift. Oh. <laughs> um, and it is awesome because they do that. There's a lot of uh, like reference to Inception-type mm-hmm. okay. layers and looping and, and all this kind of stuff. So funny. Um, I found myself like laughing. Like actually laughing out loud, as opposed to just LOLing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which I I, I gosh, hate myself just, a lot right now for saying was, that. <laughs> yeah, but it explains it explains the difference. Yes. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll say, "Oh, so so, so funny," and uh, it, not that I actually laughed. I just kind of smiled or whatever. But I was actually laughing during yes. this one. So, um, really good. And, of course, the Star Wars Force Awakens trailer. Yes. Uh, an episode of Comic Book Men. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Uh, a couple of throwaway shows. Sorry for all those involved in these projects, but the Elementary and the men- uh, elementary and the Mentalist really just don't take up a whole lot of space in my brain. No. Yeah. Um, then I watched uh, Walking Dead and its uh, companion show, Talking Dead. Okay. Uh both great. It was a really good episode. This uh, this next episode is the uh, mid season finale for Walking Dead. They take a, a pretty good sized break before coming back. Right. And um, have you have you been watching Walking Dead at all? Uh, no. Last episode I saw of Walking Dead, they had just made it to the CDC. Okay. So I can talk about this, and it won't mean anything to you. Nope. Won't spoil anything. Not at all for you, because if you ever do decide to get caught up, uh, <laughs> you will not remember this. Conversation. Not at all. <laughs> You'll be uh, lucky if I remember this conversation half an hour from now. Uh, fair enough. Okay, so at the end of uh, the last episode, they uh, um, they'd found spoiler alert. <clears throat> Just in case, y- yeah. Yeah, we we do that. We do that here. <laughs> um, le- basically, last thing that we saw last, um, whenever Daryl and Carol were were together, is that she gets hit by a car. She gets carted off by the people with the Red Cross. Uh, that the the hospital people basically. Um, and so they go back to the church, and uh, they split up. You know, people are going to go rescue Carol and and uh, and Beth from the hospital. People. I guess so. um, Father Gabriel stays at the church, but he crawls through the bottom of the floor and he escapes. Doesn't mean a thing to you. No, not a clue. Not a clue. Um, Back at the hospital, meanwhile, well, (laughs) you'll find this very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Carol is uh, is recovering from her her uh, being being hit by a car. Good. So, um, Beth is trying to help her there. Good. And, uh, you know, Rick and the crew are trying to organize a rescue of, uh, Carol and Beth. Okay. And, um, so there's lots of, uh, there's lots of that. Lots of loose ends is what you're saying. There's lots of loose ends. So basically it's going to be the, the, uh, the battle with the hospital people and, uh, trying to rescue their, their friends, which is going to probably take up the entire... Uh, mid-season finale episode probably yeah. and uh somebody's probably gonna die one of the main characters Ooh. or another main character um you would only recognize maybe three or four people in the current group this can be one of those situations where 
it's kind of fun to pick up the the Blu-ray box set or Blu-ray box and look on the back of it, and you can play the dead, dead, still alive, dead, dead, still alive. You know that that kind of that kind of game. Nice. So it's a lot of fun. It's I'm guessing fun. Uh, Rick and his uh, his child Coral. Coral. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can resist. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Thank you, yeah. internet. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rick and Coral are are just fine, are you know, <laughs> relatively fine. The kid's getting big now. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to think of who else is around. From last time you saw it, which is at the CDC. The end of the first season. I think even second to the end from the first season. So, uh, Rick, Carl, Glenn, Daryl. Okay. I think those are the four that are still left from uh, from that time period. (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) So, oh, and uh, Carol. It's still okay. Carol. Carol's uh, um, in that one. Let's see. Yeah, she she was there. I don't know if her husband was still around at that point. Was that the the wife beater? Yeah. No, he dies like third, third or fourth. Okay. Okay. He dies while they're still at CDC the quarry. is at the end of the first season. Yeah, I believe. And he dies while they're still at the quarry. So. Oh, that's right. That's right. <clears throat> So, I remember that much. I haven't seen it in six years, but I remember that much. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So I think uh, I think that's that's the uh, the remaining crew from uh, from that. Good, good. No real spoiler. No, I mean, no, it's The Walking Dead. You expect people to die, right? So uh, let's see. Anything else? I think that's about it uh, on the Talking Dead. Um, there are three people. Uh, Paul F. Tomk- Tompkins. He's a he's a comedian. And then uh, what are their names? Um, Sonequa Martin Green and Christian Serratos. They play characters that you wouldn't know. Okay. But they were also uh, on the Talking Dead, talking about this most recent episode. So, okay. Um, it's good stuff. Good. It's good stuff. It's a- it's a good episode, Will. Maybe one of these years I'll get caught up. Oh, well, good, good. I I, I like uh, I like your enthusiasm. I'll, I'll see if I can. I'll have to restart The Walking Dead. I'll have to start Breaking Bad. I'll have you to haven't s- watched any Breaking Bad? No. Wow. I'll have to start Mad Men. You don't have to start Mad Men. Okay. I, I'm not. I'm not a big proponent of that. Uh, Breaking Bad is kind of a cultural phenomenon. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like I missed out. What it it repeatedly won award after award year after year. Mm-hmm. So that was probably the. Uh, hey, believe me, I still have a hard time believing that Malcolm in the Middle's father is the meth master. So it it breaks it to you slowly. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah you start out there. <laughs> you start with Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, and you work your way down. Yeah. Okay. Good. Actually, he may even be more mild mannered than Malcolm's father there. Oh. At the beginning. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Stuff I'll, happens. Yeah. It also gets real. Good. Okay. I'll have to start Sons of Anarchy. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I've I've uh, been in and out of love with that show okay. over the years, but um, uh, I do kind of enjoy it, so... Mm-hmm. I've missed a lot. You have missed a lot. I've missed a lot. And for, for me... Um, Probably the la- last episode, which is the second to last episode for the series, not just the season, but the Correct. series, uh, is probably the best episode of Sons of Anarchy I've ever seen. Okay. Um, it was really good. Good. For me. For you. Yeah. For me. It was, it was awesome. Excellent. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, I don't know. What, what else do you need to start? You've been watching American Horror Story, obviously. Just Freak Show. I've never seen the first three seasons. Oh, jeez, dude. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Well, if you, <laughs> if you ever need any of that stuff, yes. you can 
borrow it from me? Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good, friend of friends. I understand that reference. <laughs> I think everybody does. <laughs> that was let's hope. That was so thinly veiled <laughs> as to be non-existent. <laughs> All right, so uh, so past that, yep. uh, what you playing, Will? Uh, this week, Destiny. Working on Destiny. Lots of Destiny. Lots, Lots of, of Destiny. Destiny. Um, I have been playing. I've got 25 hours in so far to Dragon Age Inquisition. Wow. And I've barely touched the main story, so that's awesome. Um, it is uh, between... Uh, it's right around 70 hours. Yes. The main storyline, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got 25 hours just dinking around in the woods. Yeah. So, that's good. Taking the scenic route. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying <laughs> it. I'm so enjoying it a lot. Your, your version of Dragon Age may be closer to 100 hours. Easily. Yeah. Easily. I'm a cl- completionist, too, of sorts. Uh, and there are lots of side missions and things oh, yeah. like that. Lots. To Not do. that I've played it, but I'm just familiar with the... The concept. Yeah, the, with mm-hmm. the property. Yeah. So, yeah, been enjoying that a lot. Um, working on the occasional Xbox One and Xbox 360 arcade game in the never ending pursuit of achievements and fun. Um, what's, what's your uh, gamer score? I recently broke 50,000. 50? Mm-hmm. I think I'm at. Sam's is somewhere around 70. Yes. You and Sam also had the distinct advantage of working at a video game store. And yeah, I had the distinct... That didn't help me that much. It helped um, Sam a lot. It helped Sam a lot. Yeah. And I had the distinct disadvantage of missing two years of my life with my Xbox. Right. Yeah. There is that. Um, I think I'm... Which I now think I'm in the low to mid People may think I was in 60s. prison or something. But. Oh, he was not in prison. <laughs> it was definitely... Well... I was kind of in prison. But. He he was riding across the land, kicking up sand. Sure as possible, was in demand. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, it's about it. It's about it. It's about it. Uh, it's been all destiny for me. Yes. As far as far as gaming goes, uh, that that game definitely has its hooks in me. But you know, having the the daily and weekly. Uh, offerings and all little little things that pop up and it's it, it it's ha- I, I give destiny full credit it has the uh the mmo uh uh <laughs> hurt and rescue cycle uh it has that down pretty well so it, it hurts you by by giving you the the little tantalizing you know, glimpses of hey, if you do this quest, we'll give you this. If you do this, but we'll give see, you this. And I, we'll this, I think we'll it does. It does it. Well. I think it does MMOs one better because of things like the daily heroic quest, correct? And um, these uh, these quest lines, the uh, uh, what are, the exotic weapon and armor quest li- or ar- weapon quest lines, where it requires you to both play single player and multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes you enjoy the game mm-hmm. as much. I mean, if if that's your if that's your drug of choice, um, it it's a good drug. Yeah, I I really really I'm, really have been enjoying it, and you know I haven't played anything MMO ish since the glory days of EverQuest two back in two thousand eight. Yeah. Shortly before the federal go- government forced an intervention uh, <laughs> down my throat, right? <clears throat> but you know, I, I'm I, trying. To I, th- I, I I still had my my level E T fee warden, yeah, you know, out in the woods of the. Oh God, I feel like such a nerd, but uh, yeah, no, yeah. it's it's M M O delicious and it is fantastic. Yeah, the only other like M M O that I thought did something similar. Was Star Wars Galaxies, because at the at the higher end, not at, like in game, but at higher end, um, if you were a bounty hunter, you would start getting bounties on actual players like Jedi. No kidding, and stuff like yeah. Because I never I never got a chance to even really look at Star Wars Galaxies. Yeah, you would start getting bounties to go after other player characters. Cool. And that's that's a cool deal. Yeah, like if you're a Jedi hunter, 
and they sent you after a Jedi being played by an actual character, totally different than just fighting a, a boss class character. Nice. Yeah. That is pretty cool. <laughs> um, I am excited for the expansion pack. Comes oh. out uh, two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. A week and a half, I guess. More yep. at this point. Oh, uh, speaking of expansions, uh, there, was a, there was a little bit of news that I... I left out uh assassin's creed unity uh uh ubisoft has announced that uh one of their like dead kings or something along those lines one of their dlc packs is going to be free to help make up for the missteps that they made at launch and if you've already purchased the um if you've already purchased the season pass then they're going to give you a digital version of a handful uh, of uh, your choice of a handful of games. Um, one of which I think was Far Cry Four. Awesome, uh, and a couple other things. So um, that, as far as I could tell, the Unity Season Pass is no longer available. Okay, but um, I could have just like n- not found it in the store because I was browsing the store through the uh, the xbox one smart glass sure. store so i may have missed it um but if you did buy the season pass you've got that to look forward to it's actually a, a really nice bonus yeah so especially if they're giving away brand new games yeah yeah absolutely and for those of us who didn't buy the season pass we'll get you we'll still get one free we'll get uh, one of the dlcs dead kings for free i mean i'm pretty sure that's the name of it good so uh do you have anything else no. All right. No, well, that's about it. Um, you know, happy happy post Thanksgiving uh, American consumerism. Yeah, I I didn't do any shopping today. No, me neither. I worked. Yeah. So. I was home all day. Still didn't do shopping. That's probably okay. Yeah, it's very okay actually. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, uh, thank you everybody for watching and listening. Um, for those who are watching, you can find us on Spreaker and iTunes. For those of you listening, you can catch us on Google Plus and YouTube if you want to watch. It's or true. Vicey Versi. It's all true. It's all true. And I think that's about it. Um, I'm not sure who's going to be on the show next week. I'm trying to work some stuff out to where... It's a little bit more convenient for people. I'm gonna make, like try to put together like, everybody's schedule and mm-hmm. and see what I can I can do about that. We may be uh, we may be doing a change of venue with the show if it makes it more convenient for other people. I'm not I'm not sure. Working on. It. I understand that that uh, living downtown it's a little bit of a jog for for everybody but Jordan. So I'm gonna figure something out. We'll see. Might right. be exciting changes. Might be exciting changes. You never know. It, uh, the recording equipment may may uh, land on the round table. It's true. It's true. It doesn't mean anything to anybody listening. Not right at now. all. Because <laughs> uh, we haven't we haven't done a video recording at your house since the round table existed. Correct. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. We will. Uh, we will see you next week. Bye. Good night. Plus the beat is designed so I can empty your mind.